So, I've made a couple of videos on this channel, kind of dedicated to more basic drum recording setups and drum video making setups, you know, just using a phone and maybe one mic. But from the feedback I've received, I've realized a lot of people want an even simpler approach. So today, we're not gonna use any mics and we're not gonna use any computers. Let's see how this goes. So firstly, we're gonna wanna play along to some music for this example. And the problem we have in the traditional first video making approach for drum videos, which is headphones on, earphones on, whatever you have, listen to the song, play along, and then put the original song on top. Now this never really works because we're always trying to guess exactly where we started the tune. And you may say, ah, oh, just sync it up with your drums to their drums. Well, the problem with this is when we're playing, we're probably either rushing or dragging slightly with the track. So when we try and sync our drums up with the original track, we're gonna be a bit kind to ourselves. We're gonna sync ourselves right on the beat at the start of the track. But let's say, for example, we started the track and we were actually dragging a bit behind the beat. But by the end of the song, we started rushing. Well, now the compensation we've made at the start of the video is gonna be applied to the end. So now we're playing perfectly in time at the start of the video. But by the end of the video, we're completely off. And it causes uh, a lot of headaches because what you're doing is you're just slightly adjusting the video, listening, listening. Is that better? Is that better? It, it's, it's, a, it's a head melt. I wouldn't recommend it. I've done it when I started off, but I definitely would avoid it if you can. So, if we're just using our phone, how are we gonna avoid this? Because how do we usually get around this? Well, we record with a computer and we use some recording software to record to the song. So it got me thinking, phones are pretty powerful today. They can probably do this. So I was like, let's try and do it on the phone. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my current phone as my camera angle, and I'm gonna use my old phone to record the audio. Let's give it a shot. So this is uh, my old 5S, which we're gonna use to record in GarageBand on the iOS app. But I'm gonna also give you some options for Android. Any music recording software on a phone should be able to do what we're trying to do today. And I'm gonna use my iPhone 8 to get the video. Sorted. So here we are. And the first thing we're gonna need is a track. So often people ask me, you know, how, how will I get a track into my software? So what we're gonna do today is something dead simple. So I'm gonna look for a drumless track here on YouTube. Drumless tracks, and I found one earlier, a lo-fi track that I thought was pretty cool. So we're gonna go with that. I think this is the one. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the link. And we're going to jump over here. We're going to hop into YouTube to MP3. I'm going to paste, convert, and download. So we're going to click download here. So now if we go into files, there we have it. Drumless lo-fi. Okay, so now we're gonna set up our GarageBand project. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to send this file first because I'm gonna record on my 5S. So, it's gonna airdrop this to my 5S. Hopefully, I show up. So, there I am. So now we're jumping over to the 5S and we're gonna hop into GarageBand and start to set up our session. So we're gonna go into Audio Recorder. We're gonna select Voice. See here, up in the corner, we have our track. So I'm gonna click on this and there's our first track. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on this plus. We're gonna select Automatic. So this will mean when we drag our, our track in, we'll get the full track 
and not just the eight bars they've set up for a loop. Okay, so next up we're gonna add our track. I'm gonna go into this loop here because this is where we select our loops. I'm gonna go into files. Now I'm gonna browse items in the file app. It's my lo fi hip hop. Oh, actually, I'm gonna cancel that because it's gonna try and preview it. Let me go back, browse files. Yeah, we're going to go. Oh, actually, no, we need to select that. What am I saying? Boom. So there's our lo fi hip hop track. We're going to drag it in underneath where we're going to record our drums. And if you see, yep, we got our full track. Awesome. So, next thing we're going to use is some earphones. So, you should have around the house some of these phone earphones that you get with most phones. These earphones have a little mic on them. So that's what we're going to use next. So here we are in GarageBand. We're all good to go. So we're going to click up here on this microphone icon. And now this is where it's really vital. We're going to select our input volume. So I'm going to play, if you hear me play some drums there, what do you see in the input? It's gone red. So that means it's distorting. So we're going to move this down to a point where we're not clipping. Wow, so we're still clipping. We're gonna move it way, way down. Okay, we got a little bit of headroom, that's good. Too much, so. I think that should work pretty well there. And we're gonna select our tracks again, and we'll do a test recording. Now before we do this, we're gonna drag over here and we're going to make sure that we have our headphones enabled so we can hear the tracks. And seeing as I've got my earphones in, I can also monitor the track, which is great. Let's give it a shot. So that was my little sound check there and I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually buzzing about this. I just had a listen and it, and it sounds great. Now, I've got a bit of an unfair advantage seeing as I picked a lo-fi track because the drum sound I'm getting out of earphones is actually suited to the style. But I'm, I'm buzzing for this. So I'm gonna use my actual phone, not my phone that's deceased and come back to life just for this video to uh, record the video itself and that's gonna be used for the audio. So now, if you just have one phone, well, you can record yourself after the fact. So let's try it, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you have one other device. Steal one of your family members' phones. That's what I used to do back in the day. I'd be like, oh, can I- Can I play games on your phone, mom? Can I play bank? Can I play a game on your phone, mom? And then I'd record drum videos. I wouldn't actually say that, but I, I did. Used to take people's phones and set up like 10 angles like Cobus. Well, like three angles. I'd be like, one phone here, one phone there. And I'd think I was Cobus. Great fun, great fun. Now for the recording itself, preferably you want a tripod and one of these phone uh, tripod adapters. But if you don't have that, you can always go old school. You could always use a chair, a stool, use whatever you can, stack things on top of one another to get the height you're looking for. And what I would do before I had any tripods was I'd get a bit of tape and I would just simply tape the phone to whatever I'm using. Solid. So we've got our track now. Let's have a listen. See what we're working with. I actually think it sounds great. Wow, this is fun. I did not think this was gonna sound so cool. If we go into our tracks controls here, it's gonna show all the plugins we got. So actually, if I go into the mic here, 
So this is the settings. So the really cool thing is if we listen. So there's already some reverb and goodness on the on the tracks. They've there's pre-applied effects. So it's a real plug-in play solution. So that's a drum sound recorded with earphones. Okay, so if we go back in here on the mic, ah, this shows all our sentence. So I'm gonna turn the reverb down a bit. Tone, pitch control. What is the tone? So it's like an EQ filter. So I'm actually gonna bring it back. Gonna add some drive. So for this sound, for the lo-fi sound, that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So the one thing I'm going to try and do is pull up an EQ, if there is one. Boom. Okay, here we are. So we got bass. I'm going to see if we can bump. I'm pretty satisfied with that. So I think we're gonna bounce this out. Now we're gonna dive into the edit. So I'm gonna use an app called Premiere Rush today. So I think this is a trial version, but it should work just fine. So I'm gonna add media here. So I'm gonna come in here. And this is my video file. Okay, now we're good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find the point where my take is. So you see me starting to track around here. So all I'm gonna do is drag to there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach the audio. So if I hold down, expand audio, Perfect. Now the next step is going to be to get my actual audio file. So we're going to jump back into GarageBand and we're going to export our song. So we're going to hold on it, scroll down, click share, song. I'm going to export it as a WAV file, but it, does, it doesn't really matter, you know. And... What I'm going to do is select Dropbox. Now, if you're on Android, there's probably other ways. You could probably save it straight to your files, but for whatever reason, it's not giving me the option. So I'm going to save to, I've already selected the folder. I've already selected the folder I'm saving to new. And I actually already done this. All you need to do is say new. You put in your email. And it's going to send to your Dropbox. So if you don't have Dropbox, I would set one up. If not, I'm sure there's another workaround. Okay, so we're back in Adobe Rush here. And as you see, I've detached the audio. So now I can see the waveform really clearly. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in our audio. So I'm going to select your media. 
and I already have opened up here so I have it but all you got to do is go down select Dropbox or wherever you sent the file to I'm gonna select new and there's my lo-fi drums so here we go now I'm actually gonna sync it to the very end of the clip so I know where we're at so this app is really good the level of control you have is excellent for this kind of syncing work so I'm going to go to the end here so I can see really clearly where I need to be boom so we might not get it perfect but I'm going to guess that this is going to be pretty pretty damn good so I'm going to come in and select audio so this is our audio from the video and we're going to come down and make this zero let's see what we got that looks absolutely spot on so what we're going to do now trim the fat we don't need boom there we go trim back and boom so i'm definitely not used to editing on a phone this is really new for me So this is working really well. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with the color of the video, maybe even crop it a little. So I'm going to change the size ever so slightly because I wasn't really happy with my angle. So that looks a bit better to me. And now, I'm going to see if I can play with the colors. So let's get a nice little filter on this. So I'm going to just select this nice black and white filter to play with the exposure a little bit. Just gonna play around here a bit, this is pretty cool. Add a vignette. This app is actually really nice. Whoa. So we got a nice little black and white video. And let's see effects. Put a dissolve at the start and the end. Perfect. We're done. We are done. So I'm going to export this. And there you have it, guys. A full video. Full drum video made all on the iPhone. <laughs>